welcome back to another episode of That's Business. Today, we're going to discuss what you're missing out on when you don't do your research on who's writing your resume. Now, of course, I have to give some support and some love to the Resume Rescue, my own love of the company that I have. And I want to talk you through our different resume services. And then we're going to get into some horror stories of what I've seen and what my advice is to you. Now, starting off, when you work with a larger firm that maybe they just have people churning and burning resumes, here's what you're missing out on. You're missing out on extra resources. Are they help, Are they providing you with support on how to negotiate your salary, how to do interview prep, and just where you need to find value in yourself? You have access when you work with us. You work directly with someone to ask questions to. Do you have that with another big company? Do you have someone that you could shoot a message to on LinkedIn or on email that says, hey, look, can you read through my offer and let me know if this is a good one? You need someone that does full life cycle of your career. From the start of you updating your resume and in LinkedIn and other services down to when you actually get an offer, you need someone to help you and stay aligned with what your end goals are. Consistent market research. Does this company stay up to date on trends? Do they know what hiring managers want? When was the last time they interacted with the hiring manager? Just everything of that sort. My number one thing that I pride myself on is being a resume writer is that you have your own personal cheerleader to support your career goals. We're a company that I would rather be open and honest with you than take your money and run. Sure, money's great. We love that. But every single one of my employees has instilled in them that to they need to be honest with every client we work with, even if it's a free consultation. We've told people straight up, their resume rocks. They don't need us. We've talked people through, hey, I know you want to change careers, but let's think through this. I don't think you would really like that. Did you know X, Y, and Z about that career? You want someone that has your best interests in mind. When you're working with these bigger firms, Are they taking the time to ask you questions? Are they understanding who you are as a person, personally and professionally? Are they taking the the time to get down to what the core problem is? Is it really an interview problem or is it really you have some something else lingering in the background or lack of confidence? What does that look like? And this is where, sure, not all giant companies are horrific. I'm not sitting here and saying that, but you need to understand what's best for you. A great example of this is everyone that has always said like, oh, working for Google and Microsoft and everyone's like so great, so wonderful, bigger, the better, like companies are the greatest. Well, they've been laying employees off left and right, some of these large enterprise companies. And the reason I bring that up in relation to resumes and working with a firm Are you getting that like love experience? Are you getting someone that you could ask questions to or someone that really, like I keep saying, has your best interests in mind? So we talked about larger firms. Now, what about what about the individual contributors? Now, there is nothing wrong with working with someone who is just an individual contributor or solopreneur. I've worked with people, and if you've listened to other episodes, you know that's actually how I got my start with resume writing and starting the Resume Rescue was I used to do them for for, for free way back in the day and then nights and weekends while I was building the Resume Rescue. But when I was on my own, I was a recruiter. I dealt with hiring managers left and right all day, every day. And even if I wasn't dealing directly with them, I still got forwarded their feedback. My account manager would tell me directly what their needs are. We'd get lunch with hiring managers. I mean, it's so interesting to me that someone, and I'm not hating on everyone, can come out and say, oh, I can write a resume. I used to write. That's fine. No big deal. Eh, I used to be a manager. How can it be so difficult to write a resume? No. You have to have the experience dealing with hiring managers You need to have that experience of staying up to date on trends on the industry and knowing what the heck these hiring managers want. I want to tell you a few examples of some horror stories I've dealt with or resume pieces that I have fixed. So this is, these are all four separate situations, different examples of what we are looking at here. 
I received a resume. I had this company I had worked with last year. They laid off their employees, but they paid me to provide LinkedIn support. So every laid off employee got support from LinkedIn for me. And I offered them other resources like, do you want me to review your resume or how can I help you out? So this individual had contacted a larger firm and he's like, you know, Angela, they told me it'd be a week. It's been two weeks now. I just don't understand. And then when he got it back, there were spelling errors wrong on his resume. There were spacing issues that I called out the second I pulled it up, not even had to scan through it. And sure, maybe that person was new that wrote his resume or whatever the situation may be. But if you're such a large firm and you're not running it through a Grammarly or you're not having multiple people sign off on it, this is how errors are made. So I went through and I actually fixed up his resume for free because I felt bad that he already spent that chunk of change on it. So I fixed his resume up. The template wasn't horrible, but it was just so showy and just so... I, I told him, I was like, it's pretty and beautiful, but like, I would roll my eyes if I got this in my inbox. And he was disappointed in that. We fixed it. It was fine. But that's an example of that. Another firm that I, and we always like to ask our clients, why did you decide to work with us? What was, the, what made us different than the competition? And I have heard this four times in the last week. Angela, you did not rush me off the phone. You didn't just give me some cookie cutter advice. You actually took the time to understand what I needed or what my goals were. And any I were I did talk to these other firms, which I am very familiar with, and they just were pushing me off the phone. It was just the same old sales pitch. It was just pushing me off the phone and just not understanding at all what I needed. You take that extra time to answer questions. You should be. You need to understand if it's a good, if it's a mutually good fit. Is it a good fit for me as the one helping you support your career? Is it a good fit for you as the client to feel you can get to where you want to be? And that's where some of these larger firms go wrong. I have a new employee that just started and she's going to be taking on some of the sales calls I have. And I have told her multiple times, I was like, Elena, you need, I don't care about the numbers you need to be honest with people. I don't want you to get the sale to just get the sale. I want you to really understand where they come from. Funny enough, she comes from, Elena is a recruiter. So it's interesting because I really instilled that in her to say like, I don't care about the revenue. Like don't sell the client if they don't need us or just transition into other resources. We've had clients that have had great resumes and I say, okay, you can, we could change some things on the resume. Do I think you need a whole overhaul? No, but consider using LinkedIn. Do you feel comfortable with LinkedIn? Do you feel comfortable with interviewing? So we pivot into still getting the sale, but it's aligned with what they specifically need. When people come to me and they're like, oh, I think I need a cover letter. I think I need career coaching. I think I need interview prep. I go through what that exactly entails and what types of individuals benefit from it. But you need a company to work with you on what you specifically need. It's not a one size fits all. We work with such a diverse group of individuals, a lot of non-native English speakers. We work with entry level C-suite executives from all over the world. And this is where I really love what I do because I can tailor each resume session, each career coaching session, anything just to what they need. Another horror story I wanted to kind of share about that. This is my favorite horror story to date. We worked with a client and this individual who was a pain in the booty decided to solicit advice. I think he got some type of free resource or something that he could submit his resume in and get a pop up of how the resume was. So he goes through it. It's free, right? The breakdown he and he forwarded me the breakdown of what this air quote, career coach said, and I was appalled. I shot back an email. I said, this is absolutely appalling because 90% of this advice is wrong. It is not up to date. This individual had been in industry for, been apparently career coaching for 30 years, which is fine. But the resume piece of this individual's advice was so outdated It was the case of what resume trends were like in the early 2000s. 
But if someone sent me the resume recommendations he did when I was recruiting, it would have gotten thrown out the window. So I sent this client a really big breakdown of why each piece of this advice is wrong. And I even said, I'm like, this is actually concerning that this individual is doing this for a living and and profiting off people. And this is why it's important. You have to think of your career as if you're finding a contractor for your house or if you're you know, buying a house, whatever that may look like. You don't, you need to negotiate. You need to talk through what exactly am I getting for this price and understanding all of that. At the end of the day, you just have to do your research. Ask questions. If the person you're talking to is getting annoyed about all the questions you're asking them, it's a big fat red flag. Please, 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 please do your research and don't just go with the cheaper option. If someone can rewrite your resume for a hundred bucks, like what a steal that is, but just probably understand that it's your resume is getting thrown into a template and not very worked out on. You have to understand this. We also, as part of our offboarding, we have clients stay in touch with us and say, hey, how did the interview go? What were you asked? Was there anything crazy? And we're gathering market research based on that. We then take that market research and we offer it to clients. We look and say, okay, what have our clients said this week that we need to help market ourselves? Or what is the biggest need right now to support people, support clients? We incorporate that then into our marketing and free resources we provide for people. So this is where I don't understand when these companies just try to take your money of all these resources you're missing out on. So next time you're looking for a position, or if you're currently looking for a position, take advantage of a free consultation. Shop around. Ask the damn question. And if you're interested in learning more about our resume services, our resume rewrite, or our critique, let us know. You have our link in the show notes to schedule a free consultation or check out our website, theresumerescue.com to learn more. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of That's Business. If you're looking for a career change and you're not sure where to start, The Resume Rescue can help. Sure, there's no such thing as the perfect fit for everyone, but here at The Resume Rescue, we're on a mission to find the perfect solution for you. Whether it's changing careers, updating a resume, learning LinkedIn, or practicing interviewing, we have you covered. Find us online at theresumerescue.com and find all of our contact info in our show notes.